So this is Monday of Holy Week, and a part of our devotions this week is not only will we have the print devotions, which is attached to the email that you um, received today, but we also want to do video devotions, because this is such a special week in our lives of faith, and it's even more special this week because it's completely different than anything we've ever experienced before. But I want to invite us into our space, even though we can't be together, I want to remind you that the space is still here and that God is still speaking to us through the texts that we read, but also through the spaces that we remember. Today's text is about Jesus and his disciples coming back into Jerusalem and he heads into the temple and he overturns the temple uh, tables and the money changers and he, and he throws everybody out, right? And he, he asks why God's house, his father's house has become a den of robbers and not a house of worship, right? And as I wrote in the devotion, we have this reality that we are barred from our worship space, not because of something that we've done or because of God's punishment, but we are still experiencing the realities of being barred from our space. But that doesn't mean that we have ceased worshiping. We have worshiped online, we've worshiped together in ways that we never thought possible. But there's some familiar things that we miss And so in this time when we're not together, we're being invited to pay attention to why we worship and what it is that we want to bring back when we do gather again in this space. One of the things that I miss more than anything is standing in this very spot in the narthex, where I greet you when you come in and I greet you and say goodbye to you. I find the narthex is that space where the world and the church meet. It is this beautiful space where you exit from the world and you come in to worship our God and where you take the worship that we have had and you send it out into the world with you. And one of the things that I love more than anything is this bell that we ring, a familiar sound that reminds us that we are being called in to worship God. Those bells will continue to ring even though we're not together. And they will one day, I promise you, they will ring and they will welcome us into this space. Just as Christ welcomes us into his life, his death and his resurrection. I continue to pray for you and I pray for all that we are experiencing. We continue to be the body of Christ even though we are not together. God created you. Jesus loves you. And the Holy Spirit will sustain you. Remember those three things. Be well and make sure to wash those hands. Amen.